Hello, hello. So I'm a day late with doing these readings, very sorry. Um, so this is Tuesday, I would normally do it for the way, for the Monday. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be, me and my guys, I always say we, uh, we're going to be doing the uh, readings for um, the astrology signs for the 11th through to the 17th of November. Um, and we're going to start with the air signs, which is Aquarius, um, Gemini, Libra, then the water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerians, then the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, and then finishing with the fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Now, you can probably tell by my voice, I'm kind of struggling with my body to uh, not have a full-blown chest infection. I can feel it starting, so I'm hoping that's not going to come up to anything. It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow, my Rhiannon, my Scorpio, bless her. Um, happy birthday, Rhea, for tomorrow. Uh, we're looking forward to celebrating with her. And, and um, yeah, so we, we'll do that. I've got um, just an announcement. I'm having a big sale, okay, on readings this week. Okay, so um, for new customers and rebooks, um, new customers was $80. It's going to be down to $60, okay, just for this week. $60. So um, grab your book in early. Um, and that would be the same price for rebooks. They would normally be $75. Okay, that's for one hour reading. Um, then we've got the 30 minute readings and they would normally be $40. And they're now down to $30. Okay. Um, for a two hour reading was $140. It's down to $120 um, at the moment. And there was obviously a special price for the Patreons. Um, and uh, the, their one hour reading was set at $60 by being a Patreon. It's down to um, $55 for one hour and $30 for an hour. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, I'm just putting it down. Also, um, and I'm starting off with the um yearly forecast so 2025 readings if you book them now you obviously get november and december um as well so instead of 12 months you'll get 14. um so um yeah those are um, um a 90 minute reading so it's a 90 minute reading for 90 dollars. okay so that's an early one it in december they go up to a hundred dollars okay um and those are basically your um yearly outlook okay they they go in and uh, yeah they're just a special offer um that i do where we go into each month and we see what's going to be happening in love life family um friendships career life path home everything okay so and anything you're you're asking for tinky's here um she's just looking at me lovingly she basically wants more treats i've got a few treats left that I'm trying to eke out so I don't have to say no to her before they get delivered tomorrow. So, yeah, so she's uh, yeah, she's just trying to see if she can uh, grab some now, aren't you? Um, anyway, so we're going to start off with the um, the air signs. Okay, so let's get the air signs up here. Aquarius. Okay. Now, obviously, because of my health situation and talking and things, they're just going to be little mini readings, but I didn't leave you without doing them at all. So um, I hope you guys understand. So this is 4.15 timestamp. Okay. Um, let's have a little look and see what they want to tell you, Aquarians. Okay. So let's have a look. Oh, they're all turning over. So, Aquarians, Aquarians, Aquarians. Well, they didn't want me to stop shuffling, Aquarians. So, yeah, something's definitely going on with you guys this, this week. So, 
Um, I feel as if there's going to be a need to um, just be gentle with yourself. There's a lot of sensitivity around you. There's a lot of feeling, you know, tired, lethargic. Um, you know, you're you're thinking, well, what is what is life about? What is going on? Um, I need a purpose in my life. I feel that there's going to be a lot more planning ahead and the universe wants you to see where do you want to go? What do you want? You know, so if you're not sure, how on earth is your um, is your guides and loved ones going to be helping you to get what you want if you don't know? So it's time to sit there. It's time to think, um, you know, what can you do to make your life better? What would you want in your life? OK, it's <laughs> here. Um, yeah, so um, there is somebody who is really seriously thinking that they need to move. I feel as if there's some anger or frustration linked with um, a neighbour, okay? And um, I feel that this neighbour is difficult and uh, you don't you don't want to upset any, anything regarding this, but equally um, you don't want to... Um, you don't want to be responsible for them getting angry <clears throat> and maybe taking it on anybody else as well. So, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky situation that I see see around you. Um, for other people that might not be a neighbour, it might be um, a friend or family member. When I'm doing um, readings as a collective, like Aquarius readings, then it's not always easy for me to tune in. There's usually multiple scenarios. OK, so if I was reading for one person, I would um, zone in on that one person. Um, they're talking about um, being independent, feeling independent. I do feel as if there's going to be a clever way of you getting what you need from this situation without upsetting everybody. So think about clever or ask your guides to give you a clever way out of the situation um, and they will help you. No problem. All right. So there is an easier way, okay, for you. So just a little, um, just a little reading for you, Aquarians. So um, have a wonderful week, and I will um, go on to um, Gemini's. Okay, so we're now going to read for Gemini's. We, the royal we, me and my guides. So here we go. What is going on with Gemini? So this is the 11th through to the 17th of November. What's going to be happening next week for you guys? So um, there's a lot of planning. I'm feeling as if I've got uh, lots of paperwork that I need to fill out or forms or um, I need to do things in an official way. Um, there's reluctance to do this as well. It's like I just I want to I keep putting it off and putting it off and I don't want to do it. Um, there's also um, a, a feeling here of um you know anger brewing you know getting annoyed getting um getting frustrated with um a situation that has been um it's been quietly kind of like nipping at your heels so to speak um i can see that you have been um either rejecting others or rejecting others help or you felt rejected in some way because i've got the rejection card here um, and this is not a feeling that you you like, um, because obviously it it creates bad energy, and bad energy creates more bad energy, doesn't it? I do feel as if by the end of the week there's going to be a lot more tranquility, there's a lot more understanding, and I feel that you are taking your life um, in, in your own hands and going for it. So it's about dealing with the things that when you go to bed at night you think, oh, I should have done. You're going to wake up and say the next morning, uh, sorry, the next time you go to bed, that's it, I've done it. I've done it and I feel good, I've done it. It wasn't an easy situation, but I did um, complete that. So that's completing forms or documents, um, you know, answering questions that you're needing to answer, you know, um, dealing with it head on. And, uh, you know, this is a, a, a very nervous thing that I feel going on for um, for you at this time. There's some education energy around you, Gemini's, as well. So this is um, 
education, things that need to be organized or sorted out to do with learning new skills or your inner child is saying, mum, we need to open our mind up. We need to maybe delve down some rabbit holes or do some research, um, look into what it is that we want. Um, so I do feel as if there's a lot of, uh, um, it's like movement forward and taking your life in your own hands and going for it. So yeah, you're not hanging about for sure. So anyway, that's um, just a little mini reading for Gemini's. Okay. So Libra, this is uh, Greg is a, a triple Libra. So hello to my love. Oh, bad words exchanged. I know that won't be with me and him. We just don't do that. But if there is there bad words, who who is the bad words with or for? Um, let's have a look and see what's going on here. Okay, so this is somebody who's got like two sided, um, they're two faced or they've got two sides to their character. They're trying to hide one side of themselves from other people. Um, and that usually brings about, um, you know, disharmony and, uh, you know, wondering what that person, whether you can trust a person or not. Um, you know, when somebody kind of flips over, it's like, you know, um, they were absolutely adamant this way and they turn to be something else so i feel as if this is a personal matter this is linking to family or friendships here and i feel that it's like they're taking sides and there seems to be a bit of um it's like somebody not standing by um their you know it's, it's like principles i think the word is principles ethics okay they're not being ethical um, I can see a motherly character or a nurturing person, um, a mother figure or somebody who is quite, you know, just motherly. Um, I can see there being some travel plans, um, organization to go on a trip. And um, I feel as if this is, um, yeah, something that has to be methodically thought out. So I don't feel as if this is something that you can just quickly organize or do. Um, um, and if you don't have the time to organize it, that's when the real complications gets in because it's like everybody's needs need to be met. And so that seems to be a bit of a stressful um, situation there. Um, I can see a loving, caring person around you who wants to make sure that you're okay, wants to uh, be there for you. I feel as if there is also two, um, two females, younger females, I feel that are going to be um, very much in your thoughts, in your mind. And I can see that there is, it's like they you can see that they're trying to hide um, their inner child's feelings. They're trying to, you know, they're feeling a little bit like nervous or um, insecure. You're picking up on that insecurity, but you don't feel as if you can actually openly say, hey, do you need me? What, what's happening? I feel as if it has to be done more subtly than that. Um, but uh, yeah, there's somebody who's overreacting. I'm getting overreacting um, and uh, need, a need for calmness and a need to um, get on um, on their side and understand it, but then also understand the other side as well. Because I feel as if you're gonna be a bit of a referee, okay, Libras. And I know with your balancing personality, you will be able to do that. So. That's what I get for our Libras. Okay, Scorpios, this is for my uh, daughter, Ria. It's her birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday, um, Rhiannon. Just gonna record this as well, I like to do that. Yeah, so this is um, Scorpios reading is 11th through to the, the 17th of November. Okay, so let's have a little look and uh, see what they want to tell Scorpios. Here we go. Okay, so 
you're going to be putting up some um, boundaries and safety mechanisms um, because you're feeling as though there are a lot of very different difficult characters going to be around you um, at a certain point this week. Um, I can see that some of them are linked to work and money, uh, financial support. Some are linked with, it feels as if um, there's a lot of uh, challenges um, and uh, this, uh, these challenges are linked around these people. Um, I feel as if all of you are um, have got to do something. So it's a bit like um, a work trip or, you know, um, having to have a get together um, for a precise reason. And I do feel the challenges are going to be set. We've got the seven of wands there, which is the challenges card. Um, there is a financial decision about work and money and what to do financially um, to get by, to do what you need to do. Um, and I feel as if there are certain boundaries that you're going to realise that you you can't do. It's like, this is my limit. I can only do this. I can't do that as well. So I feel as if that, that realisation is going to hit home a little bit um, and they're asking you, you need to simplify your life somehow, slow things down somehow, make um, make plans, um, make plans, but make sure there's gaps in between those plans is what the, the guides are saying. OK, so you're also the boundaries are having to go up. So I feel as if you're going to be a bit like um, it's like, you know, these are the rules. This is how it is for you. This is how it is for you. And that's that. So I feel as if, again, there's a lot of um, negotiating and a lot of, you know, refereeing again. So um, I do believe that there a lot of this is because of the, um, if, especially in the US, it's to do with the, the elections and it's to do with, you know, Trump winning and lots of people having heightened emotions about that. Um, so I do feel as if there is, um, you know, a lot going on. I was watching um, Robert Gauveyer um, who's uh, an attorney, a criminal attorney, and he basically looks into into things. And uh, there was an 82 year old lady who punched this Trump supporter in the mouth. She and she, there was no kind of like argument or anything by the Trump supporter. She was a Kamala Harris uh, person, and she just went up and and said, "You should know better, you being of color." Oh, it was like a real racist thing to do. And she was 82. She got arrested. So, yeah. Could be simple as that, could be obviously not as bad as that, but it could be things going off like that, um, or it could be more family orientated and closed, more of a closed in feeling. I do see that you are at a stage of cutting people off who really, they all if all they do is cause issues and troubles around you or around your loved ones, um, I feel that you're getting to the point where you're like saying, I don't think I want to do this anymore. You know, it can be that you just don't want to mix two di two groups together. You're going to have different kind of um, energies, different groups for different things. I do feel as if you're going to be more outspoken this week than you've been in a long time. Um, and you're also feeling very homely with what the, the um, hermit card, which is, I want to be a hermit. I want to stay home. Okay, mm -hmm. which is funny that we got that card because I said what do you want to do here do you want to go shopping what do you want to do she said um I want to stay home I want to do crocheting and I don't want any responsibilities I just want to so it's like well okay then that's that's what what you want that's what you'll get so yeah so funny that you get the hermit card with that so anyway that is um a little short reading for Scorpios Okay, so this is for Scorpios. Um, oh, no, no, this is not. This is for Pisces, isn't it? I'm so sorry. Yeah, so this is for Pisces. Um, and this is the 11th through to the 17th of November, 2024. Let's have a look and see what is going on with Pisces. Mum's Pisces, so hi, Mama. And um, I'm Pisces too. So um, let's see what's going on for Pisces. Um, so straight away, I'm feeling there is um, going to be a successful um, connection, emotional connection. Um, we do have in the witches' cards, we do have the ring, which is love, marriage, speedy, successful 
partnerships in business or personal. Um, so this is where things are going, um, going right, going in the right direction and things um, being, um, it's like just how you want them or just what you need. Okay, so um, yeah, this is a thumbs up card. It's a, you know, if you've been thinking of starting a little business or um, creating a partnership in some way, then that is a big yes card. Okay, that's what they're saying. Okay, so um, now that is if you start soon. Now, if if the if the week goes on, it's not the right time, and I don't know why. I, maybe there is something because I'm not an astrologer, so I read the cards, um, you know, to do with um, the astrology signs. But I'm not an astrologer, so I'm wondering if there is any astrologers out there or anybody who's watched in the astrology to see if there is a very big difference of a positive beginning of the week like 11th 12th 13th but as you go on to the middle of the uh, the week um things go on to no it's, it's like don't start things so i'm wondering if that is the case so i'm going to look into it as well um but um yeah so it does feel as if there is um a bit of um it's like there's been rejection we've got the rejection card there's a common theme going on here isn't there guys with all of these readings so far um but um i do feel as if there are building of bridges for sure you've got the three of pentacles the so building of bridges um so watch out for um also some spending habits that have gone adrift now this is funny because mum's just bought a cooker and uh she didn't get on finances and now she's regretting that she should have got on finances but anyway um that's how yeah so anyway that's funny that's come up but um i don't mean to do this i don't mean to bring up things about my own um my own journey you know but uh, when i say something and it triggers i can't help it um so anyway i feel as if there's some decorating um and reorganizing of a home um i feel as if there is some furniture being moved around it's just i want to change things around i want to do something different and i feel that that is going to be um it's going to feel right it's going to feel good um yeah so um there is a lot of wishes and dreams so like the universe is saying to all of us you know this is a message for us all um it's time to start seeing what do you want in 2025 think about it what do you want in 2025 these are the these these readings I, lo I love to do because we go kind of like month to month um, or we kind of like do a timeline effect on how your year is going to progress. And you can look into it separately. You know, how's love going to be? How's how's finances going to be? How's this and that? And, and we start off with a visualization of the positivity uh, with those readings. And we all must be doing that. It's like, um, think about how how much you want to pro. It's like you want to um, promote the best possible outcome. So when you go into, that's why in the beginning of the yearly reading, we do a mindfulness kind of energy um, and we set out some affirmations as well so that you guys can do that as well with as you go along. Um, but I really feel as if there is, a need for all of us to maybe do that um, affirmations is a statement that you make um, that is uh, um, positive and um, and that is the difference if you if you if you say something in a negative way like oh that's typical I always you know and then say something bad about yourself um, you are making that statement so it runs into the future as well so there's a need to cancel, clear and delete what you just said and put in something positive, put in something like, but I'm a really loving and caring person and I deserve, I deserve the best, I deserve abundance, I deserve happiness, I deserve unconditional love, um, I deserve um, financial security, even financial wealth. Don't feel guilty about what it is you're asking. You're not taking from anyone. You are letting the universe provide for you and you do deserve it. So um, there's an energy about that. And I do feel as if for Pisces, you're going to be thinking a lot about 2025 and about your dreams, about your wishes. And the universe is going to be writing them down and saying, OK, we've got you. Uh, we're going to get that done. 
we're going to get that done. Uh, we love it. Okay, so that's what I see for Pisces. A lot of women. Okay, so this is for Cancerians, um, and this is my eldest daughter, Megan. So, hey, Megan. So, um, let's have a look and see what they want to tell you. So, in the witch's cards, we've got the scissors, which means cutting away. Uh, let me read it. Tink is not helping, by the way. She's just sitting there on the cards. <laughs> um, so, it's got the scissors. Time to cut out, cut the cords to negative people, places, feelings. Um, and anything that is holding you back from the best best version of yourself. Move away from the past upsets and look firmly into the future. There you go. There's a scissors card. Okay. As we go into the middle of next week, I'll go back into it in a minute. Just doing the witch's cards for now. It says stop. Not the right time for change. Um, so if you're thinking of making a decision, um, be patient. Maybe the decision will be made you or maybe the situation is about to change well go and sit over here go and sit over here stop it she attacks me because it's like how dare you move me i'm a teenager she is she's just like that um so yeah so i just moved tinky for the recording um yeah so not the right time be patient it will change something will change and you won't have to do anything about it um, and by the end of the week, the moon can relate to women or wives, mothers, conception, childbirth. So it's all to do with the family dynamics. And it's to do with um, feeling as though there are um, there's ebbs and flows um, from the month. And sometimes we have to look at when is the best time to um, to change things within the family dynamics. And when is it better to hold back? And I feel as if there's a there's definitely a different change of energy, say, at the beginning of the month to the middle of the month um, in, in certain households. So I feel as though, um, you know, you're going to get into a bit more of a rhythm um, regarding regarding that. Um, they are saying that there's going to be some money coming to you, Cancerians, at the end of this um, month. And this won't be your normal salary. This will be something extra something that you wasn't necessarily expecting or it's a little bit um, out of the normal. Okay, so let's see what else they want to tell you. There you go. What did I just say about abundance? And then here comes the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. So I feel as if this is, um, there's loving, caring energy um, around you. And um, there is somebody who is very caring and loving as well. This person has... Um, they wear a mask, so they pretend I'm fine, everything's okay, but inside they might be hurting. And I feel this person tends to hide behind their emotions, really because they don't know how to express them or they don't know what uh, what to do for the best. Um, there is a, um, a tearful character, I feel, around you this next week. Um, somebody who is, they've got lots of emotions going on, and I feel as if they are not expressing them Selves, and there's a real need to to get this um, off their chest. So it's about really asking them, you know, tell me what's wrong, tell me what's happening. I need to, I need, to, you know. So it's spending one to one. Watch the candle, darling, please. Um, it's yeah, it's about um, you know, giving that child time to actually speak about what's going on and what's the problem, because I feel that there is a need. The worst thing possible that um, a person, a mother needs, you know, hears is if you had asked me with more force or in, you pushed me further or harder, I would have told you. And when you know that that child then went through something bad, I, I'm trying to share this so that mothers or all parents, aunties, uncles, will do those asking of the questions, you know, and pushing just that little bit, you know, I want to know what's happened. Is there something wrong? So I just feel as if there's something that needs to be expressed. Um, and I'm saying this, it, for this particular reading, it is just, I feel it's to do with school or it's to do with other children. It's to do with siblings. It's to do with, you know, um, people getting on their nerves okay getting on their nerves so i feel as if it's a more of a light-hearted feeling but i am talking to one person um regarding that push for 
that you know you've been noticing changes um find out what those changes are and that's to the other that, that one or two people that are watching this okay so yeah so anyway that is what i see for cancerians okay okay so taurians okay so um the we've got the wave card okay with the the um the, the witch's runes um the wave is all about your relatives uh, it's about communication it's about needing time to heal so i feel as if there is um there's a transition that is coming and i'm going to talk about this on a global level here um so with the the election in the united states it's not just affected america this has affected the world because the the um, implements that um, Trump is going to put on um, to, you know, the corruption that has been going on with the cabal, with the elites, um, what's in the two-tier systems, what he's going to be doing is going to affect everybody. And so very quickly, if people were against him, they're going to actually start to turn around and go, actually, we might have been a bit hasty before judging uh, this man. Okay. Um, he has been talking about uh, the shadow banning um, and, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg did um, actually say, he didn't use the word shadow banning, but he did say that, yes, there are restrictions on certain accounts. Um, and uh, and also there that has also been linked with election interference. So he's going to be directly going after the uh, shadow banning and the, you know, restriction of accounts and so uh, restriction of information as well. And so there's going to be a bit of a battle going on there, but it's actually going to affect everybody. So, you know, I'm sorry if you are not a, a Trump um, supporter. I'm talking about this on a global level. OK, and I, the, what the wave card just tells me um, that this is the, the journey that everybody is now on is of the highest frequency um, for the people, okay? It's for the people. So there is gonna be a lot of big, good changes that will be coming. Um, so I do see that there is going to be, um, somebody's proposing or somebody is, is making an announcement about an engagement or, you know, about um, introducing a new person to the family or, you know, somebody saying, you know, I'm, I'm ready to find love, you know, I need that. And I can see that there is somebody who will um, be a bit too judgmental, okay, regarding this. So um, that's not an easy um, way to go forward um, because this person, you end up having to walk on eggshells around their energy because it turns out to be a bit awkward, okay? So, um, yeah, I do feel that it will clear up um it will be quick um that it will turn to it's like everybody else um, around the family or around your friendships will kind of brush that off um and positivity will come through again but emotionally that it's like statements like that you can't take those statements back or that reaction back from other people um i'm seeing good partnerships around you so you're going to be picking some good partners to do business with um, to work with um, and to get money together. Um, I'm seeing some sort of stepping onto new ground regarding business um, ideas and business things. And you're going to be working with a new person that is a very, very hard working person um, like yourself. You're going to feel very good about that. So that's what I get, just mini readings. Okay, so there goes. Here we go. Okay, there's going to be a lot of, um, it's like wanting everything to be perfect, being in that mindset of, you know, delivering, um, you know, your loved ones, what what is needed. Um, so it's like you're trying to, maybe trying too hard, um, and it's affecting yourself, it's affecting, you know, how you are 
um, behaving, okay, around others. And, uh, you know, when it's like you're, because of your need for the perfection, it's actually upsetting the balance. And so, you know, you're, um, it's, it's working against you, okay? Now, this may not be you directly. Maybe you're watching somebody with their perfection energy and you're seeing that it's not balanced out. It's not working well. Um, I can also see that there is uh, somebody who is, I feel as if they've got one foot in, in, in each career or one foot in a job and one foot in self-employment or, you know, it's like I've got two jobs. I feel as if it's two incomes and or potential incomes. And I feel that um, that will work very well. But when you're looking for perfection, um, that's going to be very difficult to uh, to to get together with that. And that is because of um, your it, it's like trying to do too many things. They're saying you're trying to juggle too many balls and it's not working out. OK, um, so there also there's a meeting coming up and I feel this meeting is going to be very, very intriguing. I feel as information that comes through is going to really be beneficial to you. And I feel very excited about um, this. Uh, it's like it's new energy coming in, new um, ways of, you know, potential earning money. And I feel as if you're unwinding from trying to do everything so perfectly and saying, do you know what? I'm going to step back a bit and, and allow maybe other people to step in and help as well. So, um your, your future is not yet decided at this point, Virgos. It feels as if you've got multiple timelines um, and it's all to do with your positivity and whether or not you stay in the high vibration or you stay in the lower vibration. Which one do you want? And so sometimes we just have to keep focusing on I want what's best for myself and for others around me. And, you know, I deserve happiness. I deserve love, I deserve abundance. And just keep that mantra going on the I deserve. Your spirit guides are working really hard in the background to make sure that you get what it is that you want. Okay, so um, I also see that you're gonna just cut the cords away from um, people that are just creating issues or problems around you. A lot of people have had the scissors card um, you know, this week in the reading. So there's usually a common theme and there's there's a few of those running um, around this uh, this week, especially. Okay, so there you go. That's what I got for. Okay, so this is for Capricorns. So the reason I'm doing these mini readings um, is, is because I'm fighting off um, the start of a chest infection so you can probably hear it in my voice um so i'm trying to ignore it at the moment and pretend it's not going to take hold uh, but i also don't want to put stress on my voice um as well and it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow so i really don't want to be poorly for that so i thought i'd just do little ones um so let's have a look and see what uh, they want to tell capricorns okay so i feel as if there's going to be some sudden news okay coming to you and this will be of the highest positive energy. Um, I really feel as if that it's like um, some sort of letter or document that is going to be coming your way. And I can see you smiling. I can see you kind of quietly going, well, thank you, universe. That's good. OK. And um, I feel that there is um, definitely it's, it, it's like. Um, okay, so it's like anything, there is a good point and there's a not so good point. So I feel as if it's it's multifaceted and I just feel as if um, that you understand that. So um, so you're not kind of being kind of callous or, or feeling as if, you know, you are, I don't know, um, being insensitive. I don't feel as if it's to do with that, but I do feel that it is time um for you to have some happiness back okay it's time for you um i can see that there has been a breaking free um there's going to be more of that this week and i feel this is to do with things that have been holding you back um because i do feel as if it's like i've got the judgment card 
this is about unshackling yourself from um, people or things that are not needed. And this has been the common theme of this week, okay, for people. And, um, you know, um, there is there is a link around a female, strong female character um, and a need to uh, to let go of their energy. It's like, I can't do this anymore. This is too complex. And I don't feel as if I'm being appreciated or we just don't see eye to eye. We just don't understand each other. And I feel as if this will be, be need to come with some sort of protection uh, to do with energy. Um, you know, when somebody can throw about their own bad energy and just because they're in a bad mood, it then puts you in a bad mood, even though they've not done anything necessarily, um, but it's just there anyway. So I do feel as if, you know, just be, be aware of other people's energy this week and um, just visualize yourself in that bubble. Um, you don't have to um, be in and around other people's energy and have it connect to you. Okay, so bubble around yourself. You're, you're, it's like you're floating in the middle of this bubble. And if you want to, if you're going on a date, for instance, make sure you put sparkly bits around your bubble and also um, mirrors facing outwards if you're around people who you know are going to be judgmental at you. Um, because what it does is it mirrors it back to them. Um, so you're not doing anything about it. They're doing it to themselves. So automatically they'll feel like an idiot for doing what they're doing. Um, or, you know, they'll say something nasty and then they'll trip up or something. Um, so watch out for those things. But, um, the universe can... The universe has got a sense of humor. God has got a sense of humor. Okay, so um, there is a decision about leaving one job going to another um, or the transition between two jobs, I feel, is going to be happening. And I feel that's going to be the it's going to be a very important aspect to do with financial structure and swapping and changing things. OK, so there you go. Just a little reading for you, um, Capricorn. So have a one. Okay, so this is for Leos. Um, hello, Brittany. Um, Brittany, uh, Greg's daughter, is a Leo. So hello there. So let's have a little look for Leos. All right, so it's um, they're starting out the week. And, and if you've got like a burning question, um, we have this card for you. It is yet to be decided, ask again in 24 hours. So that usually means that you are in a transition of timelines. So if you want that highest timeline, the best one possible, then keep yourself as positive as you possibly can, because that is gonna be the key to whether or not you're gonna have um, you know, good luck or bad luck. You know, that is that is the ultimate uh, feeling that comes with that. So there feels as if there has been crossed wires going on regarding somebody who misinterpreted what was said. Um, now, obviously, this is for next week. Um, it can be that it's already happened and then you end up getting to see that person or, you know, you have to try and make amends with that person. But I really feel as if this uh, this can go in your favour as long as you keep uh, visualizing that uh, everything is working in the best interest of everybody. Um, and uh, sometimes we have to give in to the universe and say, I accept it. I accept whatever comes of this because it is what it is. And then I pulled this card, which is looking forward um, with a positive outcome. I mean, look, he's looking into the sunshine. He's got all of his thoughts together and he's in that dance move and he's he's not he's not leaning forward he's just stable so i feel as if there is a very definite decisions about relationships staying going there's also about relationships sorry relationships within business or work about who to trust and who not to trust there's issues about i feel lots of the very big decisions about staying or going or you know yeses and no's 
And this is why I feel that it's best not to, um, you know, to make a decision in your head is one thing, but to actually physically do anything about it, I do feel as if that is slowing down. That is not um, the idea that they want, okay? The universe says it's it because it's in transition, you could speed it, speed it on um the outcome and it would maybe be the wrong one so they're saying that the universe has it in hand um try not to get too stressed okay about uh about it okay um even they're saying that you might not ever have to do anything because i think it's going to unwind itself now a lot of them um, that's happened a lot with these readings um the we've also got unwinding slowly it will all be okay in in time if you pull the moon, it will be within the month. You haven't picked the moon card, but I feel that this will not be a month in the making, okay? It's going to be quicker than that. Um, you are thinking of self-employment, a way of earning extra money on the side. And I feel as if there is success around the corner for you regarding uh, one of your gifts or something that you're very good at. I feel as if other people are going to be uh, singing your praises and you're going to be feeling very grateful about that. So, yeah, there you go. That is for our Leos. Hey, Sagittarius. So um, beginning of the week starts off with, um, and I've, I found this in every, nearly every of the readings so far. I've only got Aries to do after this, so I've seen it in nearly all of them. There is bickering and quarrelling and misunderstandings and, you know, things that are, complicated or somebody making things complicated so i really feel as if this is um it, everything is being brought out into the open and the truth is sometimes hard for people to take okay and uh, i feel as if there's going to be a lot of that now some of it is obviously going to be politics uh, some of it is going to be family linked to politics as well um you know there's going to be so i feel that it's about standing in your own truth um not pushing your truth at other people um being being kind of uh, firm but fair um but also you know just uh you know be sensitive to other people's feelings so um there is a family situation i feel as if there is somebody whose bubble has been burst they're talking about now that means that somebody's had great heights and then they've burst their bubble so they are on a downward spiral i feel that this person is um fight, trying to find a way um to make themselves feel better and that can sometimes be quite um a, a, a negative situation because they are not being fair or truthful okay in that process so yeah there's gonna it's gonna be challenging i feel by the end of the week though we do have abundance so we have this abundance card. So if you've been expecting money, they're saying yes to abundance. It's coming to you. Good luck. Um, it's time. So this is really good energy for Sagittarians um, regarding that. So, um, so but you know, sometimes the, the beginning of the week is different. I do I do find it interesting that a lot with a lot of these card readings, it has been starting off tricky with, with these and ending up on a good note so astrology wise i'm gonna ha have a very very close look at some of the astrologers to see what they're picking up um regarding that um to see if there's planets aligning and things um there's going to be celebration in love life or in in love in family okay there's a celebration of love getting together okay a sudden change okay a sudden change and it's like i'm worried about this change but um, there is, it's not time to sulk, it's time to embrace it, it's time to, to change things up, okay? Look at things from another person's point of view um, as well, that is some of the um, advice that comes from spirit, okay? So there you go, guys, that was a Sagittarius. Okay. So this is Aries now, okay? Definitely got a teenage cat, teenager, okay? So she sits on my cards, 
and then I have to scoop my hand underneath to get the cards to reshuffle them. And then she gets annoyed with me, biting me and getting aggressive because I've had the audacity to move her because she's just literally plonked down in front of them, on top of them. And I said to her, it's not my fault, Tinky. You know, you're the one that sat there and she's looking at me kind of with that defiance. So I put her behind me. She's not happy with that either. So it's funny, isn't it, that you can clearly see there's a kitten stage and then there's the adolescent teenager. You can see it in actual cats as they're growing up. Or just the same with puppies. Uh, but uh, they're more loving than cats. Cats have got attitudes. You never you never actually own a cat. A cat owns you, that's for sure. So anyway, let's see what's going on with Aries. Okay, so Aries, it's about unwinding, okay? They're talking about unwinding. I feel that there has been a lot of stress around you. There's been a lot of anticipation, a lot of stress, a lot of people trying to tell you what to do, um, trying, you know, trying to organize you. I feel that, um, you know, you know that things are going to work out fine, but at the moment, you might be needing a bit more extra help than you would normally and that can be for various different reasons. Um, but at this particular time, it's like I just need to, you know, you know, put up with this, shut up and don't say anything um, and wait until it's all, um, yeah, it's all smoothed over. OK, that's what it feels like. Um, I see that there is somebody who's showing you um, how to do a new job or a new gift or, or challenge. And I feel that this is going to be... Um, a bit stressful but I feel as if I'm doing well so so I know that you're going to be good at this okay what you're doing um there is some travel plans I'm seeing traveling around um and I feel as if this is a journey a holiday or somewhere that you're going to go um I see that you're looking at two different ways to get there um where you are going it's two different ways and you're trying to find out the best way forward OK, looking at the pros and the cons, OK, of that situation. OK, so um, I see that there is a character around you who is very, it's like they've got this um, look about them that says that they know everything. And they are looking at you as if to say, well, don't you? How would you not know? So I feel as if there's a bit of a, an egotistical character around you at this time. That is going to be triggering you um, and you're having to not react. Um, I'm seeing that there is somebody also who has let you down um, and they are kind of not apologetic. It's just like, well, I couldn't do it. And that was that. Um, and uh, it's affected you quite, quite a lot. So there's a bit of a battle going on with people not appreciating you and not appreciating your time and not appreciating you know, what you have offered. And I really feel very strongly that this will be something that you'll have to maybe address, okay, especially with certain people, especially if it keeps happening, um, then it's about kind of like calling in your uh, your power there. Um, there is a pregnancy announcement for, um, you know, a few people there out there with the Aries, um, pregnancy announcement and I see you know babies and um, I'm seeing um, feelings of happiness pure happiness around okay and um, there is study coming up for you as well Aries or there is someone in education that you're having to support um, and uh, I'm also seeing that life has is going through a big transition and it's a good thing we have actually finished on this card and this is for the the world I'm going to say, watch this space. There is so many good things that have that are going to be coming that is going to affect our affect everybody. So um, nobody realizes sometimes the amount um, of change that is going to be happening. Um, I feel as if we, you know, a lot of the truth has been going down the rabbit holes. And we've watched as, um, you know, these, it's like the truth is now coming out about nearly everything that these so-called conspiracy theories, theorists like myself, 
um, have been looking into and we've been laughed at. And it's like, well, look at them all. That's been proven and that's been proven and that's been proven and that's been proven. And this, again, will be that way. So when somebody laughs at you, just have it in your mind that they're going to have to apologize. They're going to have to come back because it is all happening. It's all unfolding. And especially now you've got the right person in charge over there in um, America. Um, you know, all of that's going to change. And anybody in different countries is going to benefit from, um, you know, his um, his energy. And he's. He, it's like not taking any um, um, crap from anybody. It's like, you know, he's, uh, he's going to um, see... Uh, see what's going on so yeah there's a lot of good things to look forward to um i've uh, i've predicted the future i've seen the future um and you won't believe it it's like um you know everything we could have possibly wished for um we've dodged literally dodged a bullet uh, regarding what uh, what was going to be okay so yeah so that's that's what i got for everybody and uh, just a little bit about the global things so um, yeah, I'm rocking because I'm in pain, but um, yeah, I obviously I'm not feeling great, so that's why we've done the short readings. Um, don't forget, there is a sale on um, for my readings, some up to $20 off, okay? Um, some up to $20 off, so um, look out for that. There's sales all, all over, okay? So um, for new customers, for rebooks, um, there is um, Patreons as well. The Patreon readings were set at $60 an hour. Um, 30 minutes was $35 an hour. They are down um, $5 each. Okay, so um, and there's also the yearly readings. The yearly forecast 2025 is also available now. So if you was to book it now today, um, you would then get November and December as well as the 12 months. Um, and that is $90 and in December, it goes up to $100, okay? The early early uh, booking, okay, you can do. So, yeah, that's what I got. So, if you want a reading with me, go to psychicalley.net, psychicalley.net, and um, you can book a reading. So, that was uh, that was what we did today. So, um, I'll do a, the timestamps. I'll put them in the video after... Um, I finished this and uh, yeah, just uh, lots of lots and lots of love and thank you for your support. Uh, thank you to my Patreons. I appreciate you all very much. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, take care and bye for now.